Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs, Batman F I G S, on Instagram as well as co host of DC Figures and Collectibles, a podcast for all things toys, collectibles, nerdy media, anything you like. I'll make sure to put a uh, link in the description below. But uh, this is by popular demand. People have been asking me to share uh, my customs of the boys figures that I've been working on and sharing pictures of. Some people wanted to know what figures I used, how I went about doing it. Uh, also, the guest coming up next week on DC Figures and Collectibles, he actually uh, makes customs and he's the one that made the figures for the boys show. So I thought this was actually perfect timing. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I got so far. So the easiest is translucent. I just took a Walmart Bucky Winter Soldier figure and took out the head and the <laughs> put it off the arm, the hands. So if you have a spare one, then you could do it. But if you don't want to spare it, you could just say translucent right there. See, he's invisible. That's his power. So you can get away easy with translucent. Now um, let's go black noir. This is a Justice League, um, Justice League Batman. I just cut out the ears and painted black all the silver for the tactical suit. And boom, you got yourself a black noir. I could do more to cover up this and I probably will. But like I said, these are all works in progress. But people wanted to see which ones I was using. Now, Maeve, she's easy. Not in that way. But she's easy to create. Just a Wonder Woman SH figure arts body and a Mary Jane Watson head. And you still have all the uh, articulation. You don't sacrifice anything. But if you want to make your own Maeve, the customizer who did the show, his base for her was the original Wonder Woman that came with BVS. I'm sure you could find her cheap online. And since you can find her cheap online, you could also practice your skills and not worry too much about messing up when you're trying to possibly use mold or sculpty to create the correct suit. Now, this one, the deep, I'm just going to get another Aquaman figure and paint the scales green and make his hair brown. So that's not going to be too hard. Uh, let's do <laughs> Starlight. Starlight. She is a DC Universe classic uh, Mary Marvel. But she has the same exact outfit <laughs> as Starlight. So what I did, I just swapped that head with uh, the Wonder Girl head. And I had to do it differently and do a different angle to make it look like it fit naturally and all that. But this is a good start for her. And I just put it up there quick. I didn't... Like, I'm going to take my time on all of these. And the funniest one. This is a a knockoff I think I got from China. I think that's where it's from. And it's a knockoff falcon. And, oh, let me get the wings real quick. Please hold. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, the knockoff came with some wings. Just like falcon has. They're pretty funny looking. Feels very cheap. The figure was 11 bucks, so it's not bad. 11 bucks with shipping, so. This is the knockoff Falcon. And he also does this. He shoots, because you remember this part in the movie? Where he shoots a laser out of his chest. And then another way you can tell it's a knockoff is look at this hand. It just. Didn't really care. His head, instead of a falcon, it looks more like Eddie Murphy. But yeah, I started on his shoulder and it messed up, but I'm gonna take my time and do him correctly as well, or try to. And then the biggest one, that the toughest one is gonna be in, I think the biggest test of skill and what a lot of people have been using for Homelander is this figure as a base Shazam and then of course you paint the suit blue and the hands red and 
make sure that you use Sculpty to cover this up and add the blonde hair. Cut off the cape, put an American flag. You'll have to mold the eagles on the shoulder, mold the belt buckle and the the buckles on the the shoes or the boots. But yeah, that's just a, a quick little look because I've been getting a lot of messages asking if I would be able to do this and show people what I'm using or how to start going about it. And I am in no way or no means a great customizer at all. I'm just trying to share where I'm starting out. And I'm sure there's going to be, because there already, there already is a lot better looking figures than what I've come up with. And I'm sure they'll be even better, but this is just my small contribution to those that want to figure out a way to get started. So I hope you enjoy. If you want to see um, more pictures of these guys, you can head over to my Instagram, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Also make sure to check out DC Figures and Collectibles podcast I do with Scott from at the.batfan. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.